Hey, what's up guys? Today, um, a lot of you are probably here because this popped up on your computer. It's a total scam. It, uh, it's a virus. And I'm going to tell you how to get rid of it because I had um, this computer right now that you're seeing uh, yesterday. And there's a couple other methods, but uh, this one worked. And... Uh, there's two kinds of the virus, so apparently I had the newer kind, which is a bit harder to get rid of. It took me like two hours to figure out a bit of research. So yeah, anyway, here it is. Um, I didn't have a video recording, so I didn't show me that here. So if that looks different, then that's not a separate version. But anyway, let's get into it. So what you're going to want to do is when your computer is booting up and it says like, um, loading you're gonna want to keep tapping F8 and it will get you into this screen of um, it'll say safe mode repair computer um, safe mode with networking and safe mode with uh, command prompt what you're gonna want to do is scroll down and click on command prompt let me see if I can find a picture of it real fast um, just a little black this is what will come up and it'll say safe mode safe mode with networking and safe mode with command prompt you're gonna wanna go down to safe mode with command prompt click enter and your computer will start starting up and everything normally now uh, in safe mode and safe mode with networking the virus isn't gonna pop up but with safe mode with command prompt it is still possible to pop up so as soon as your computer uh, boots on this little black screen will come up and that's your config and you're gonna type in Explorer E you're gonna type in Explorer you're gonna type that in and press enter and it's gonna open up your um, your uh, this and I'm gonna restart my computer and get to there and I'll be Okay guys, so I decided not to restart my computer in safe mode with command prompt just because it's, if you're, the first thing you're going to notice is your computer is going to look way downgraded to like a uh, very old computer. But anyway, I could do the same things just showing you here. So what you're going to see here, you're going to go to your C drive and you're going to look for Windows and you're going to click on Windows. And this is for Vista and Windows 7. I don't really know about XP, but I'm assuming it's the same process. Um, then you're gonna go to systems 32 not catch 32 systems 32 systems where is it system 32 click on that and you're gonna scroll down as you can see yours is gonna be really long like this too uh, no pun intended um, you're gonna look for a file car call a uh, file called rstrui.exe it's an exe file so just scroll down to about halfway and you should be able to find it because it's going to be either halfway or a little farther down from halfway. Um, let me find it real fast and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here it is. It's alphabetical. You're going to click on R-S-T-R-U-I. Okay guys, so this screen will pop up and what you're going to want to do is press next and then this will come up and these are dates um, of uninstalls and critical update just stuff that happened on your computer uh, that was important um, if these two or whatever you have showing isn't far back enough as you can see they have dates here you're gonna wanna go back to when you knew you didn't have a virus so if you don't if you neither of these are um, not far back enough you want to gonna click on show more restore points and this will pop up and there could be more than one but this is just an example photo so you're gonna click on whatever's furthest back that doesn't have the um, uh, virus that you know or are assuming uh, keep in mind that old files are gonna be brought back and uh, files that you currently have no, no, they won't. Okay. Well, old files that you used to have are going to be brought back. Um, and then you're going to click Next. And as you can see here, this will pop up, and it's going to tell you uh, 
what's going to happen and what drive it's going to fix. And then you just click on finish and it'll run the scan and it'll take anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour and a half, two hours. Mine took about 30 minutes, but uh, it'll wipe everything out. And then from there, you should be able to restart your computer uh, normally. And if that doesn't work, uh, I'm going to be making a new uh, video on the other version of the virus, but this one really should work. Um, and all you need to do is download two programs. Um, so that should be up next week.